Well, I just want to say to Anonymous, whoever you are, and it may be more than one person, is I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for your brokenness. I'm so sorry for the lies of the enemy. I'm so sorry for what other people have done to you. Um, I, on a, on a small scale, I understand what it is to have maybe experienced sexual abuse. I have that in my childhood. Um, I understand broken, sexual brokenness because I struggled with it as a, a young man uh, who had a, I had, I had a father that had a long history of that and it was uh, modeled for me in that way. And, and I'm grateful for the grace of God that both met me, saved me, and healed me. And I want you to know this, if you do have brokenness in your sexual past, whether it was abuse from others or whether it was choices that you made, I want you to know that there is redemption there is healing, there is forgiveness through Jesus. You can be washed white as snow, you can be healed, you can be, I won't use the word normal because what does normal mean? But you can be whole. That's the more important thing is you can be whole. And I, I wanna just read this because I can say whatever I wanna say but God through his word says it all, says it far better than I do. And in Second Peter, um, it says in verse number four, chapter one, by which he has granted to us his precious and very great promises so that through them you may become partakers of his divine nature, a new nature, a new hope. He says, having escaped from the corruption that is in the world because of sinful desire. For this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue and virtue with knowledge and knowledge with self-control and self-control with steadfastness and steadfastness with godliness and godliness with brotherly affection and brotherly affection with love. If these qualities are yours and increasing, they will keep you from being ineffective and unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But whoever lacks these qualities is also nearsighted. Uh, I, I think that... This scripture just speaks volumes. God has offered to us through Jesus a new beginning, a new hope, salvation, and healing, and that we, we, can, we can be washed clean, we can be made whole, but then from that, that point, we've escaped the corruption of the world and its brokenness. Now we've got to point our life in the direction of, okay, I want to grow. I want to be a follower of Jesus. I want to please God. Lord, Give me self-control. Renew my mind. And as we do those things, God progressively restores us. There are hundreds and hundreds of people in this church that have testimonies of intense sexual brokenness who today have been healed. They have been forgiven. They have been restored. They have healthy uh, they have healthy, whole marriages and sex lives. And the lie of the enemy to so many people is you've done too much, you've gone too far, you're stained, you're tainted, and nobody wants you, God doesn't want you, and so that's just the way it is. And I just want you to know that is a lie. Wherever sin has abounded, grace does much more abound. God's grace is just that good.